Jack, welcome again to Witherson Studios. I'm now just into the game of, you know, practicing what I know, what I can come up with new. Uh, this is very basic stuff uh, if you're actually looking at Python uh, scripting, but I think it will get complicated very quickly. So what I'm going to do is break this down into what's happening here in two different scripts. I'm only running the, the bottom script, uh, which is a very simple Python node here uh, with three inputs. XYZ is it set to integers. Type in integers. And you can see I can do a little play here. I'm not going to, it's a very fast script, and all I'm doing is generating point outputs, uh, 48 points currently, and I'm using two nested loops, so I, J, K, and simply adding point, but I'm doing a little funky thing in there with the import math, which is the square root, and I just decided to amplify it by three uh, times I, J, K as the iterations, which is, you know, really doesn't matter. Uh, it, you can you can play around with this uh, ampl uh, amplification if you want as another variable if you want to bring that in there. Um, then I simply am making a uh, I'll just show here my little daughter screaming away, but uh, put on bifocal. You see, I'm making surface from points, which is basically just using one of these values of x, y, z. Uh, I think x or y, so it works. I'm doing a four point rotation, and then I'm doing a uh, pro projection down to the base plane, I'm finding the surfaces, uh, simplifying and grafting both, and then lofting between them, merging everything, and then doing a mirror in the base. So what's actually happening here, when we go into here, is I'll show you. But right now I'm going to take this, I'm going to uh, leave my turntable, I'll probably take this rendering off, uh, put this back on, yeah, we'll just leave the render as it is, and we won't run the bottom script quite yet, uh, we'll disable that, and we'll run the top script, which is uh, a little different. Um, we'll take that and we'll do enable. I think that one is enabled as well. So let's just start with what, what it was to start, uh, preview on. So I'm able to go in and we'll just do it in the in this perspective, uh, generate a series of points. And it's a pretty cool point system because it's coming from uh, this little tiny script here, which is pretty dead simple. Import Rhino script syntax as RS, import math, create a point list. Uh, uh, points A is an empty list uh, for iteration uh, for I and range X. You can see here, I can change that. Uh, and for J in range Y, uh, you can see I can move that in that direction, in that direction. Uh, point A is then going to use the Rhino script syntax function add point, and I set it to I, J, and then use the math function square root to multiply that by three times I times J, and then I appended the point list, which was empty. Points A list with point A. Turn that down, Max, please. And uh, then I outputted point A. So you get that script. You simply put it on a surface. I did a polar array of that, which was kind of nice. If I wanted to overlap it, I could go to five, six, seven, whatever. But I think four works really nice. Uh, you get this nice little crown shape, which you can use for fabricating. And then I did a projection down. So I took those points and I projected the edges down. I grabbed the edges, simplified and grafted, grabbed the edges, simplified and grafted, and lofted them together. And then what I did in the end was I just was considering talking with a peer. Uh, what could we grab if we thought of this as tent poles? We could actually make uh, radii for the tent poles. And we could cap them if we like. Let's just cap them around and see what happens here. And uh, there we go. We've got little capped surfaces. And if we didn't want to just grab those, we'd grab all the lines and do curves. And then you'd see all the curves that you need to make this tent pole. So very nice little beginning. And in the end, you have that. And if we put this on, you'd see the whole structure. So nice little tented architecture. And that's kind of fun, all made from a little bit of uh, nested loops in Python. Great little exercise. So uh, you can grab that file off of my GitHub, or uh, hopefully you'll be supportive in Patreon if you want to do that, so I can keep going with this. But otherwise, I'm doing okay on my own. Um, we will take this to disable, and then we'll go down here and we'll do this one. So I'll enable all of this one, uh, and you'll see the difference in that. And I'll break that down. And in render, it's a little hard to see, so I'll put it back in shaded and see what's going on. Uh, not too exciting to look at, but the renders get something nice. Um, so what I've done here is let's close out the other script. Let's open this one. And there it is. And you'll see all I did was added another nested loop and multiplied the K into that equation. So it's very similar to the first one. Uh, you are creating a point system. Of course, I've got to take everything and make it visible in order for us to see it. And we'll just select things as we go. And we'll take this off. So basically, I'm creating a more three-dimensional point system that's not so much a surface, well, it is a surface, and it, it, it jogs up and down in a very interesting way. And what you'll see is that point system in the order of that, you still have control by X, by Y, and by Z. Um, what's nice is as you generate those points and put them to a surface, you get this very cool 
uh, kind of shark finned uh, form, which is just a pleasant surprise for me dealing in double nested loops that I can bring those down and up, have fun with those. Uh, there's a multiplication factor. I could change the amplitude if I want. And I think in this one, I will actually go in and add another one, just call this uh, amp. And we'll make the amp a type float. And we'll grab another number slider of 3.00. And we'll just input that here, just to be a little playful. And we'll take that three here, and we'll just plug into that equation, because I really don't like hard coding integers. Uh, test it. And now we should see that point. But there we go. Now I've got a sense of being able to amplify it much smoother and have some fun with the slider. And you can always grab an animation off of that as well. Uh, there's a, a ray around. And what's nice is you can still grab that awesome form. You could put it to five. You could put it to three. You could put it to two. I think four looks nice because it lines up. Project it down. Grab your edges. Grab your edges. Actually, I probably should uh, just switch these around so it makes a little more sense to grab the, the first form I made, the second form, and then grab the edges. Grab the edges. And loft them down and you get these wonderful closed sides nice way to to do that merge them all together and throw them in the one mirror on the bottom so when i take a bake of all that i pretty much uh just want to bake uh uh this uh and this mirrored form i probably bake the two of them so I'll probably take these two and let's just throw those to a little bake and we don't have to uh make them all the same so now we're selecting everything uh what I did before was I didn't bake them like that. I actually baked uh, this one as a uh, bake as group. And then this one I baked as a group. And then I left this and then I was able to go in here and you've got your two colors. And if you put it over to render, uh, you can jump in here and have a pretty cool surface. And what I'll do then is take off all that other jargon and jumbly bumbly, uh, preview off and take this plane off. Uh, and there you go. You've got a pretty nice little form that you can see uh, this color selected, this color, uh, both of them off. And you've got a pretty nice little thing. Uh, go back into here, check it all out, do the zoom extends all. Very nice shape, very nice form, cool sculpture, still staying on symmetry. Throw it on your magic turntable, put it into your analysis tools and see what you have and have a little fun with that. Of course, you have to leave turntable to do that. And... Uh, Pretty exciting. And actually, I, I don't mind the top view as well. I think it's pretty interesting. So there you go. A little bit of a nested nested loop uh, playing off of some geometries. I'll save that over, like I said, in the guest, GitHub and start making tutorials. Uh, break them down a little more for my Patreons because these are still fairly simple, but they're a bit more and more complicated. Maybe start playing with a random point 2D. But I really like this idea of going in and making uh, uh, new files. So this was kind of like new uh, one. So we'll just call this one new uh under slash 001 and yeah it's just starting from scratch and what i know and just being very playful so once again eight minutes